on the money with this one. How real is the much trumpeted economic crisis in Formula One? Well, I guess it all depends on how you see it. The thoughts of Bernie Eccleston after the view, first of all, from the poor end of the paddock. I think it's improving. I have to say the meeting we had yesterday, the first time this year where we had 12 people sitting in the room, all talking constructively and all looking at solving problems, not creating them. And yeah, let's hope we have a few more like that and we might see some positive signs. If we can find things that we can introduce that are influence everybody the same, then we'll take those steps. There's no question because it'd be good for everybody. But we've tried before and it's hard. But we've got some interesting proposals on the table. And rather than come out and share them with the world, we're all going to weigh, analyse them, try and think about, you know, do they actually achieve the cost saving? And if they do, then they will definitely be introduced with no resistance from the top teams. I think what people are trying to make out that it is much more bigger crisis than it is. I think if people in Formula One lose five, ten percent of their money, suddenly they want to know what's going to happen. And no one likes less income than they had before, but that's what's happened. And it just means that other teams and teams like myself just have to make sure that we run within the budget that we've got. Times are difficult for everyone, but you know I think our sport compared to other sports is very healthy. You know, if you look at uh, Formula One compared to football, then I think that uh, we're, in, we're in good shape, you know. So I think what you have is uh, everyone realising you have to do some housekeeping to make sure you keep the costs under control. But I don't think it's, uh, it's reached crisis levels at all. You can't take away from the guys at the top what a fantastic job they've done. Um, so it's up to us that are perhaps further down the grid to actually find a way of, of not only surviving but prospering as well. And that's what yesterday was all about. So the team bosses had a lengthy and apparently productive meeting with Bernie Eccleston this weekend. Louise Goodman got his views on the current state of play. It's only the people that are not running their businesses properly have been talking about a crisis. I don't need Ferrari, McLaren and all these people, Renault, talking about crisis. It's difficult for the teams that have not been too successful because, I mean, sponsors, there's plenty of sponsors around but there's nowhere for them to go, and they're not going to go to someone that's not competitive. It's just that simple. But are we likely to get into a situation, as they are suggesting, where if something isn't done, they're going to be off the grid and then Formula One will only have five teams? I don't think that'll happen. I'll have to make a comeback if that happens. I know there have been a lot of meetings going on this weekend, big team owners meeting yesterday. Presumably that's been on the agenda. Yeah, it was actually we didn't talk about anything that's to do with you know what you've just been saying. We talked about things here rather than that. What can be done? I mean, what changes can be made to help those the smaller teams? Um, I don't know. We'll think of something for sure. When it's necessary. It's not really necessary at the moment, but when it is, we'll come up with something sensible. I spoke to Paul Stoddard earlier on, and, and he said that the, the meetings have been very positive, more positive than they have been of late. Well, the things we discussed were positive, yeah. Are we likely to see some changes? Um, well, every year we change something. We, we make changes all the time. But are we likely to see changes specifically to cut costs for them? Um, I mean, we don't do things to make people spend more money, but you can't stop people spending what they've got. If they've got it, they want to spend it. I mean, we're not communists, so there's not sort of a level... We can't bring ourselves down to the lowest person that's got the least amount of money. It's, it's, nothing's changed. I've been in motor racing now an awful long time, and in Formula One a long time, but longer than I'd like to remember and it's nothing's changed always been the same I suppose they would say what has changed though is the money that you need in order to get into Formula One now well, pro rata is the same you know we needed money before nothing's changed and we're not going to change from ITV either they do a damn good job <laughs> it's good to hear it's given us a tick then uh, Tony um, do you detect a mood change among the team bosses I think I, I detect a reality check outside of the paddock gates the dawning of the realization that there has to be objectivity and a bit of vision as well because you know there is a devaluation across sport of about 20 to 30 percent